Welcome to this course on Algorithmic Trading with Zeroda Kite Connect. Have you ever found yourself in this situation? You're actively trading, constantly monitoring market movements and trying to react quickly to price changes. You might be aiming for a specific entry or exit point, but the market moves too fast and you just miss it. What if your trading could essentially run itself? What if your strategies could execute with speed, logic and precision? even when you're not actively watching every single tick. This is where algorithmic trading comes in and this course will guide you on how to automate your trades through Zerodha's Kite Connect API. Think about this. You've developed a strategy that says buy Tata Motors when its price crosses above the 200-day moving average and sell when it crosses below. It has clear rules for entry and exit. But imagine trying to catch that signal across dozens of stocks, all at once, especially during those volatile market hours. Algo Trading lets you transform those rules into code. These rules are nothing but trading signals that can be applied across many instruments at once by automating your strategy. Now, consider market volatility. It's 1 p.m. and a major announcement related to geopolitical tensions hits the news causing a sharp drop in the stock you own. Your predefined plan was to hold, but you feel a strong urge to panic sell. How do you prevent emotional responses while trading? Algorithmic trading can help to minimize the impact of emotional biases. Your rules are set beforehand, maybe to hold until a specific technical indicator signals an exit. The system aims to follow these rules, providing a disciplined approach, even in challenging market conditions. By automating your trades, you are trading based on logic, not fear. What about managing multiple positions or diverse strategies simultaneously? Let's say you're trading equities based on one strategy and options based on another. Manually keeping track of every detail, adjusting parameters like stop losses for each position and monitoring overall portfolio risk can get quite complex. With algorithms, you can set automatic stop losses and profit targets across your entire portfolio, simplifying risk management. For instance, imagine wanting to apply a strict 1% stop loss across 50 different stocks and 20 option positions simultaneously. Doing that manually can be very difficult. This frees you to monitor more assets and expand your trading activities, which otherwise would be a challenging task to achieve manually. Throughout this course, we will take you through the entire process of algo trading with the help of Zerodha's Kite Connect API. You'll learn how to start things off by setting up your developer account and logging in, how to retrieve real time market quotes and use historical data for analysis, how to place orders, and how to access your positions and holdings data. You will also learn how to conceptualize a strategy and backtest it. This will prepare you for live trading which is also covered in this course. Lastly, you will learn how to work with advanced order types like aftermarket orders, cover orders and iceberg orders through the API. All concepts will be explained through clear video lessons. This course is designed to help you bring more structure and efficiency to your trading with practical hands-on Jupyter notebooks at every step to show you how to automate your trade through the Kite Connect API so you can easily follow along, adapt the code and customize it for your own trading needs. What is algorithmic trading? Have you ever tried to track multiple stocks, news headlines and market trends all at once, looking for perfect trading opportunities? It's like trying to manage multiple things at once, nearly impossible for a human. But what if you find out that a huge part of today's stock market trading isn't done by people, but by incredibly fast and smart computer programs? all with the help of algorithms. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what algo trading is. What is algo trading? To put it simply, algo trading is all about implementing trading strategies in a disciplined manner using computer programs. Think of it like this. It's a way of trading where we use scientific methods to pick the right stocks. We fetch its data and analyze it. This helps us decide when to buy or sell. And we do all this using computer programs. Let's say we create a rule that says, buy a stock when its 50-day moving average 
crosses above its 200-day moving average. Now, instead of manually tracking this for every stock every day, we can use a computer program that does it for us. It will scan hundreds of stocks, check these trading rules, and place trades when the condition is met. So that's how algo trading works. But how do we create these strategies? This is where quantitative analysis comes in. It sounds complicated, but the idea is simple. It's about using math and statistics to analyze past market data. Based on our analysis, we predict how the market might move in the future and take trades accordingly. You see it all the time during an IPL match, right? The analysts on screen show you Virat Kohli's run rate or how a team scores in the last few overs. They use this past data to predict who might win. That's data-driven forecasting. Quantitative analysis is the same thing, but for stocks. Instead of cricket stats, we analyze historical data of stocks. This allows us to make data-driven trading decisions, taking the emotion out of the equation. In India, algorithmic trading has grown rapidly over the past decade, especially after SEBI allowed direct market access, DMA, in 2008. Today, it's a huge part of our market. As of 2025, algos now account for 57% of all equity cash trades and 70% of futures and options trades on exchanges like the NSE. That's a significant increase compared to its early days. This shows how widely accepted and important algo trading has become here. So we've seen that algo trading is a systematic data-driven approach that's already dominating the Indian stock market. But why is it so popular? What are its advantages over the traditional manual way of trading? While trading manually, traders might define some rules to enter and exit a trade. However, as the name suggests, the trader might use their discretion over the rules to take or pass the trade. This decision can be influenced by recent experiences, by instinct, or by emotions. What happens when the rules are disregarded? As a rule while driving a car, your tires should have an optimum level of air. Sure, you can drive a car with a flat tire, but imagine the damage it will cause. In a similar manner, consider a discretionary trader who has defined rules to exit if there is a loss of 8% and not otherwise. But when you are putting real money in the trade, emotions can take over fast. You open a position and the position is at a loss of 5%. You get worried and you think it will go down by another 5% and exit from the position immediately. But the stock reverses and increases 10% above your buy price. Thus, if you had trusted your rules, you would have been making gains instead of losses. However, discretionary trading has its own advantages. Sometimes, the data available for analysis can be incomplete, and external data suggest limited chances of making a profit from the trade, and discretionary traders can use their judgment to trade better. Since the discretionary trader is required to make a judgment on each buy and sell decision, the trader is more likely to become emotionally attached. Human psychology plays an important part too, as demonstrated by the value function. You can see that people perceive gains and losses differently. While you will be a little happy with a 10,000 rupees gain, you will be doubly scared when you hit a 10,000 rupees loss. Simply speaking, a loss hurts twice as much as the happiness you get for a gain of the same amount. Let's suppose you are richer by 5,000 rupees than you are today. Now you are offered two options. A sure loss of 1,000 rupees. A 50% chance to lose 2,000 rupees and 50% chance to lose 0 rupees. Logically, if you take option A, you have restricted your loss to 1,000 rupees. Taking option B means you are risking more money just to have a chance to get back to 0. In contrast, an algorithmic trader relies on his strategy to make the correct decision. He defines trading rules and backtests it. He is confident in his trading strategy as he has validated it. This strategy is then converted into an algorithm using a programming language such as Python. The algorithm takes care of the entry and exit of a trade. Humans have limited time and brain power. Thus, a discretionary trader is limited to trade in two to three securities. On the other hand, a systematic trader can scale their strategy to apply on hundreds to thousands of securities in different markets. Computers have become lightning fast nowadays. Since a discretionary trader relies on his own intuition, 
they are limited to few assets and analysis tools. An algorithmic trader can meanwhile use his strategy on hundreds of assets and pick the ones with maximum potential. A discretionary trader might be limited by his own experience, whereas a trader who uses algorithmic trading will test his strategy on various assets. Based on the results, he would then deploy the strategy. While algorithmic trading offers these strong advantages, it does require certain skills. Building and keeping these systems running needs technical knowledge. And this is exactly where this playlist will help you. Let us now look at the Zerodha ecosystem and then later build your skills to trade algorithmically. Picture this. The market opens and while you're still deciding your first move, some traders have already executed hundreds of orders, all without touching a single button. So how are they doing this? They do this using something called an Application Programming Interface or API. Let's understand Zerodha's trading ecosystem, which you might already be familiar with. As a manual trader, you can use Kite for your daily stock and f and trading. It's Zerodha's main trading platform, available on your web browser or mobile phone. But let's say you want to now invest in mutual funds too. For this, you can use Coin. This lets you buy mutual funds online and commission-free. Now, how do you keep a track of all your trades, investments and get detailed reports? That's where Console comes in. It's a central dashboard for all your Zerodha activities showing your portfolio, profit and loss, and tax statements. And if you want to learn more about the stock market, trading strategies, or even advanced concepts, you check out Varsity. It offers in-depth, easy-to-understand lessons for free. For this course, our main focus will be the Kite Connect API. This is what allows you to build algorithmic trading systems. So what exactly is the Kite Connect API? Think of it as a set of tools that allows your computer program to directly talk to Zerodha's trading system. Instead of manually clicking buttons on the Kite website or app, you can use your Python code to accomplish tasks like logging to your account, fetching historical and real-time market data, placing and managing all types of orders, monitoring your trading positions and your portfolio holdings. In essence, Kite Connect helps you automate your trading activities. We have seen the advantages of algo trading over manual trading. In the next video, we will set up our own Zerodha developer account and get one step closer to building your own algorithmic trading system. See you there.